Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Mugen tutorial. Oh god. On how to make a basic character. Alright. So, the last part I taught you guys how to make a projectile effect, whatnot. Uh, learn commands. You know, a little bit of commands. Nothing too difficult, you know. Some basic Shotokan, like, kind of like, you know come in or whatever something simple basic get you going or whatnot but it was something I forgot to tell y'all something I forgot to give y'all let's go back into the projectile tree now hold up I'm gonna just make some space over here in this tab I think if I'm not mistaken uh, da -da 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 -da. I think it's this one let me see yeah, okay, okay. So it's something called palette effect and whatnot. There's a tab here right here that practically gives me all the information I want. Right, I'm gonna leave that right here. I'm not gonna touch that. I'm gonna leave that alone and make it some more lines. We're gonna go into this. This is palette effect. Open this up. Alright. So in the palette effects you have your basically RGB color spectrum. Red, green, blue, you know. What is this? What is palette effect editor? What is this? Whenever you have certain uh, elements, lightning, fire, uh, dark, uh, holy, what's another one? You know, ice, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, if you want to do like kind of like Street Fighter with the V triggers and such or like just the trigger actions to do more in this template you already have some of that kind of stuff you know hold up let me go to a sprite actually so that way you guys can see it there we go let's open this back up templates uh, let's try this you see how that looks can I zoom this in I think I can yeah, there we go. That's for the player two or whatever. You have the fire, you know. You have your ice, poison. That was another one. Blood burning, poison, orange, you know. And these ones here, these are kind of like crazy. I problem there's like different types, you know. You can have them really burning or whatnot, make it look like. The the crisp or whatever the crazy whatever the uh, thing you can come up with. Excuse me. Evil purple, you know. I'm gonna go with this and do this. I'm gonna do this one. I like this one the most. So I'm gonna add some more stuff to this. All right. And here's your text. This is the pal effects with you know. And this is all the stuff. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna make this all the way to white. So let's see. And all the text is and all the text right here. This is your generation generated text. So this is cool. You can also invert color if you want. That's how most people do it. I'm not gonna invert the colors. Uh, Two forty. Oh God. Two forty. Let's turn this down a bit. Let's try a hundred, and then. 100. Okay, you want to make sure you see the character. 100. So now it's more green. 200. 200. I don't even know how to make white in this actually, but I'm I'm gonna try. I'm going to definitely try. Hmm. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. If there's any more of this, you know, we add any more add uh, color to it. More add a color to it. It's just gonna just. You know, yeah. So if I do 200, let's try 200. And you can do any color you want if you have a. Elements, uh, character you want to use. Okay, you know what? This looks a lot better. 
trigger animation memo is one time thirty. Let me get rid of these two. This is my text. This is gonna be generated for me. And I'm gonna send it to my editor. And there you go. It's right here. So I get rid of this. This is kind of like the easy, the basic, easier way for this stuff. Get this out of here. I don't ever use that for some reason, but whatever. It's, this is basically something easy to use, you know. Nothing too genuine. What is it, 1100? That's what it is. Alright. Let's see if it works. Round one. Fight! Okay, I have to make that for P2. How did I make this a player too? I forgot. You know what? Let's go open up one of my characters. Oh, characters. Uh. It's always good to have these kind of things, you know. You go. I'm. <clears throat> when you don't know if you don't remember what to do, you know, just in case you don't feel like looking at the tutorials and having to skim through and whatnot. Always keep a mutant character. Always. It, it works out that way. Uh, I'm checking this. Hey, uh, special moves. Uh, 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 uh. Nope. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell is all this? There we go. This is off of player two. So what I'm going to do is... Let me just drag this up. Let's see if this works. Let's hope this works. Round one, fight! Nope, don't work. Alright, hold up. We still got some more fixing to do. Pow time, that's what I needed. You know what, let me just take these. Al FX, right, right, right. Alright, All right, so we're gonna type it out. It'll be easier. I haven't done this kind of like palette effect thing in a hot minute. So round one fight! This should work. There you go. See? Always remember, when you want to add some kind of pilot effect and everything, this whole uh, thing right here, this is for basically what's to happen to player two. Right? So when you're coding all this out, and you're not really worrying about player one yourself. You're coding everything basically for what's to happen to player two. All right, even with projectiles, combos, you know, sometimes they're mixed up. You can be for player one and player two, or just basically what player one does to player two, you know. So, it's in and out, you know. It, it's perfectly fine to me. So, we're done with this. I think I do one more. Wait, there's one more thing. There's one more thing. Let's say you want the projectile to have more hits. Right, you want it to be more hits. We're gonna write it under the pride screen bound and everything. When it comes to doing projectiles, most people who don't know how to do it will keep adding the same coding. You don't have to do that. All you gotta do is this: pride hit equals how many hits you want. You know, I'm gonna put three, three hits. But be careful though, because when you're doing project hits, how many hits on that projectile and everything, this plays a major role now. Because you gotta be careful with this. Let me show you. Round one, fight! So I'm, if I'm all the way over here, see? That's all three. Now, if I had some, like, pause hit time, let's say the hit time, pause time was about. 
10. Round one, fight! See? Pause hit time plays a major role. That and your ground velocity plays a role. Excuse me for one second. All right. So, yeah. This all plays a role now. You want to make sure you're careful with this kind of things, you know. When I uh, started hopping back onto the Mugen train and whatnot, I basically, for what I did, like the latest character everybody been seeing basically is Zoomy. You know, that's, that's the latest one I made. Oops, I got rid of that. I did not mean to get rid of that. Oops. Hold up. Let me go get that back real quick. <clears throat> Special. Here we go. Aha. Yeah. Anyways, that's all I was saying. Azumi was like my latest one I made. She's kind of the one to put you in traps. You know, that's it. But the way how I got to play it and everything. It's very different, you know, from what I first originally like started doing with these characters and whatnot. All right, so let's get down to the next thing. We're gonna do combos now. That's gonna be the next thing on this one. So what you do is you make a uh, semicolon, draw some dash lines. We're starting this line now. This is our new line. We have to go to animations though. Yeah. Alright. As always, when you make a new animation, it's gonna have a action number. 1200 for me. Alright. Now. Let's make up a whip of a five hit combo. Let's try that. Right. Let's see, what am I gonna make? Ah, here we go. Well not a five hit combo. Let's just make an entire combo. But we're gonna do it in a way in which instead of just making it as one whole big animation, we're gonna chop it up in like two to three different state deaths, definitions and such. Alright? This is my first one. I'll make that two. Make sure you keep it tight. Keep it track of how many uh, ticks this whole thing, your animation, gonna, uh, whole animation for this uh, action is. You know, keep an eye on it. Always keep an eye on it. First thing I'll do, I'll turn this to green real quick. Now, uh, there we go. Shoot, hold up. Do, 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 do. No, 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 go back. There you go. Give me this. Thank you. There we go. Do, 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 go back up. Do, 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 do. Alright. Let's make this yellow. There we go. Alright, that's one thing. Let's make another animation. Uh, I think I'm going to name this number is 1220. I'm add some things in here. Yeah. 
There we go. Alright. Let's do the boxes first. Get them out the way. This is kind of like the long process. It'd be easy if you just break it up into different uh, animations and whatnot. You don't have to necessarily do this, but this way it's less uh, cluttered and more, you know, detailed and easier to like understand what you're doing. I'm gonna have to change none on that one, okay. I'm gonna change none on that one either, okay. <laughs> this happens every time. Some some boxes, some attacks, you know, if you don't feel like uh, really dealing with being detailed with hitboxes, you just wanna make the character just to make it. One box is all you need for a Sonic character, fan character or not, bro. You know, I'm fighting with this, and I technically shouldn't be doing that. There we go. Whatever. There you go. Ta-da. Alright. I think one box is all I need for this part. Let me see. Yeah, pretty much. Around town, boys. Here we go. One box. One box. Yeah, 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 one box. Um, yeah, one box. I don't care. Next. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna make an extra boxes. Slanted little things like these sometimes. Kind of hard to like. Eh, you know, be one box. You could make it one box, but that collection box is going to have the hugest gap between her legs. That sounds very awkward, but it's not meant to be sound dirty. This is actually true. There we go. It's kind of a quiet moment right now. This is what you should be doing. You should be just focusing and just making everything look really good. You know, it's not probably gonna be a lot of talking in this one, as you can see. Your pace, everything you do, you know, in Fighter Factory is basically just copy and paste you know that, that's really all it is because once you get to this part just make your moves and everything all you're really gonna be doing is this animations constants commands right and then once you test it out animate constants commands constants commands constants you know just change it up everything or not if you don't like the move set or not and then once you're all done with that Repeat the cycle. Animations. So, it, it never ends. It just keeps going. Alright. Eh, whatever. I guess we can I can take that. I'll take that. Excuse me real quick. Alright. Yeah, uh, sometimes I'll pause in the middle of all this. I have allergies. My allergies kicked in 
really bad last night to the point I went to bed with a headache. That's how bad it was. Sneezing like a crazy person, eyes watery and itchy, bro. You know, it's, yeah. Yeah, like right now it's just eh. Bear with me, people. That's it. Hey, like I'm gonna cut out any of this anyway, so you're gonna see the full thing. So that's a good thing, you know. All right, finished all my blue boxes. Let's do it right now. I'm gonna put a blue box on that arm too, cause I don't want to uh, cheat myself. watching that later. Note to self, don't do what I'm doing. Just fight with the stupid box. Use the arrows. It's easier. Shrink it. See? Look at that. And, uh... Let's just bring this down a bit. Yeah. Alright. Last one. Excuse me. Yeah. I can technically leave like this. There you go. Alright. Alrighty. Now that we got all that. Now we have to sit here and do the takes. So. Four. Two. Six. Three. Put this at four, right? Go back here. Here we go. All right, there's a, a really, really bad pause right here. I'm gonna change this to three. All right. Put that blue box on this punch too. Actually, hold up on the fist. There we go. 
Now that's all taken care of. Alright? Save all your progress. Now remember, you have 12, I have 1200 and 1220. Those are my two states uh, action numbers that I need to remember, remember to have. Alright? So let's go back to the constants now. As always. <laughs> and uh, we're going to add. Uh, I, we can turn this to a punch. Oh, 1200. 1200. Yeah, animation is 1. Damage is 15 because I don't want to be cheap. Insert. Alright. So now, right now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to type in another trigger action. I don't know how I got two equals out there, but whatever. Attribute, SP, damage, animation type, medium, damage, 15 and 10. Why not? Pause time. Five in the air. It's three. I don't care about the spark X Y right now. That's not important. Or number. Hit sound and ground sound. We can worry about that later. Slide time is five. Hit time is thirty. Velocity negative two. Air guard velocity one. Negative one. Air velocity one five. Hit time goes thirty. I put thirty two. You know what? I'm gonna just leave it just because I did that. All right. Change state. Uh, let's put this to change state. Now we're gonna put. We're not gonna put end because it's not gonna end there. Type change state. Trigger one equals anime time equals zero. Value is zero. Control is one. Uh, we're gonna change this. Trigger one equals move hit. Trigger one equals. Oh no. Yeah. Trigger one equals time equals. Now remember, the spin technique is two ticks each frame. So it's four ticks in total. Alright. Let's go back to it real quick. 1200. Four ticks. So it's going to be essentially that. Uh, let's see. How many hits do I want for this? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's put it for six. Six ticks. So that's 24 seconds. All right. Now, before we do any more of that, let me copy this. You can't copy and paste. At least that's the great thing about this. Now, the, here we go. Let's continue. So, if the move is, if the move make contact, move hit, move contact, they're the same thing. If the move hits the uh, enemy, the other player, and the attack goes on for 24 seconds. So within those 24 seconds, it has to last between the time he got hit to the time the whole animation ends. The value is going to be 1220. It's going to go to the next one. I don't want control of that. All right. If the move does not hit and the character is blocking, because it's a block, you're able to get out of that. It's going to go back to the idle pose and you're going to have control of your character. All right. So let's make another one. All right. It starts off as a, a punch, so we're gonna change this information right here to. We're gonna up this up a bit. Twenty-five. Insert.
right? Let's see now. All right. Changing information again. SP block is 20, uh, damage 25, uh, 15. The reason why I put a second number in there is because even though it could be 1v1, if you're doing a 2v2 Mugen kind of fight or a 2v1, whatever, uh, remember this. Though, though the first character may get hit and whatnot, the second character can also try to attack, but it has the time yet to block the second, uh, excuse me, animation. Heavy. I never really figured out this priority stuff, so I don't really care. Uh, hit time, 25. Air hit time, 32. We're gonna make this 30 and this will be 32, okay. I'm putting this at zero. Yeah, I'm putting that at zero. Alright. And, uh, air guard velocity, uh, one, negative one. Uh, air velocity, one, let's put zero. Excuse me. Alright. Pause hit time. Five. Oh, oops. And five. We'll do it like that. Um let's see. Alright. So we don't have to change this part right here. We can leave this alone because this is the last part of the whole combo and whatnot. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to scroll back up real quick, hold on, alright, alright, so, this is our move now, this is our move, power add, eh, I'll put it at 30, you can change the power add, you know, change the valve set if you want, but, uh, I'd rather you leave those alone, don't touch the valve sets, because, we, we, we got the move already, so let's go to commands. We're, we're basically going to be entering a lot of basic commands for this part. So I don't want you guys to sit here and feel very confused about the commands you're going to do. We're just inputting a lot of basic commands, and it's a lot easier to say at least. All right. All right. So let's import this command. Uh, A. Uh, let's name the combo for right now. I don't have really a specific name for it right now, so. Alright. <clears throat> let's go to commands real quick. I'm in the last video how to do this, so you guys should be able to know how to do this. No problem, you know. It's not something difficult. Very simple, very easy to do. Now, you see this tab that says insert combos automatically? Check it. Since it's going to be easier for us, I'm going to put light, standard medium, strong, kick. This one, and this one. Add update. Now, in our combo attack it has a lot of triggers you can also do this as well with standing you know like the basic a basic attack if you don't want to uh, do anything about it but yeah this is basically it this is our combo right here all right so what I do is <clears throat> I link them all together so that way this could happen you know that what what this means basically is that any one of these states you activate when you're about to do the special they're gonna link up you know it's gonna be a, an effective uh, uh, an effective 
combo. Excuse me. All right. So let's try this. Round one. Fight. All right. And because I don't have no real hitboxes on my uh, character, it's whatever. But the special we just saw, it didn't move. You know, it was just she got she kept backing away and she got hit. Let's fix that up. All right. Let's fix that up. And there's also the fact that there are other attacks as well that I need that I made with a red box on it. So let's fix that too. Over here in the right section, these little uh, templates. It's a Vel set. Here we go. All right. Time equals twenty. I think this might work. Let's put it for four. And then after this, here we go. Hold up. Trigger two equals L L M. Here we go. Always write this like this. There's another way you can do it. You can do it like this. Uh, where is it? At? Like that. You know, and then you can type in. You know, like this uh, and whatnot. But this right here, this is kind of the. It's gonna go all the way past this line and then everything. You don't need to do that. Alright? There's no point in doing that. So let's go through here again. Two, five, eight, twelve. Two, five, eight, twelve. Alright? Five. Let's put trigger. Three equals Adam. No matter if you lowercase it or not, just remember as long as it changes colors, you're good. Eight. Now I'm not gonna put eleven here. I'm gonna make a different uh little hit def information for it. So copy this, paste that. We only need one trigger for it. What is it? Two five eight twelve, right? I think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. I hope I'm right. Hey twelve. Whoops! I forgot to actually mute my Discord. Oh well. That closes out. Oh, closes out. There you go. All right. So now we got this 12, right? All right. Same thing, same principle. We're going to change the velocity to negative 4, negative 2. The air velocity will be negative 2. No, I mean negative 5, negative 4. Oh, that's air guard velocity. Hold up. Excuse me. Oh, God. Today's not my day. I swear my allergies like this. Jesus. Alright. We're going to type in fall equals one. Air dot fall equals one. Right? Recover equals zero. Fall dot recover equals zero. This is only if you want to do it. You don't have to add these. You know, everybody can get up and take it. You know, we take those, you know, kind of thing. So, you don't have to if you don't want to do that, but I'm going to do it just to show you guys. Alright? So, this animation right here, when it hits the, the 12th uh, frame of the combo, the character is going to fly, fall, and not recover. Well, we won't be able to do it regardless, but you get the picture. Alright? So, here we go. Round one, fight! So, let's try a combo now. Alright, so time is not going to work. We're actually going to have to type that out. As I thought. NML equals 1. Trigger 2. Equals NML equals 2. Time's not going to work for the Vel set. Let's just put a number on this so I don't conflict it. There we go. So, animation is 1 and 2. It's going to be 4 for, uh, 
she's gonna move across the X and for like speed, I guess. Whatever the case may be. Yeah. Alright, everything else is set. Let's try this again. Round one fight! There you go. And there you go. As you can see, she got there. There you go. She has no. She can't attack it and whatnot. That was a pretty good combo, right? All right. So that's about it for right now. All right. I want to thank you guys for taking time out to look at these tutorials. Uh, I will say this. Uh, next part, I have all my red boxes and stuff already made and whatnot. We're gonna continue doing combos and stuff. I'm gonna teach y'all how to link up basic combos together and whatnot. Just, I ain't doing this part, but um, I'll teach you guys how to do that. It'd be easy and whatnot. And then the next part, I'm gonna teach you guys air combos and whatnot and how to make it, you know, so that way you don't get stuck in the air because there's the coding is different now. So there's that. All right. And then from there on, I think I have maybe a what? One or two videos left to show y'all, and that's it. Yeah. Because I have to show y'all how to do this, the hypers. And that's it. So, yeah. I want to thank you guys for watching. You know, hope you guys got something out of this tutorial. And I'll see you guys next time. Come on, everybody. Peace out.